Welcome, my friends. We are arriving now at module number 10. Module number 10 is going to be complementary to the previous that we saw about mechanics. This is going to talk about electricians. Remember, we need good team members if we want our team to become world class. We are going from zero to world class in maintenance. Now, electricians, as we see, uh, are critical too in the process of maintenance, right? Well, let us go and try to find what is that electricians need and what are the opportunities that they will find in this new culture of world-class maintenance. Uh, industrial electricity has, has been seeing in the last few decades lots of changes, a lot of progress. PLCs and the sensors and many other devices that practically did not exist in the past. So today we have more sophistication in the equipment that we need to maintain. And it is critical so that we need to become familiar all the time with all these advancements in technology. And in order to do that, we are going to be constantly challenging those changes. We're going to say, hey, what is that I need to know to prevent this problem from happening? I need to be current in my knowledge. And that is exactly what this is all about. Now, let us see what are some expectations that we have from a professional electrician. A professional electrician, of course, must dominate Ohm's law. Must have it in, in, in his mind all the time. Be capable of effectively, tr effectively tr troubleshooting a system through the reading of, lead, of ladder, ladder diagrams. The ladder diagrams, you have seen those. If you are, if you are new in the, in the trade, uh, you have seen those. It's a diagram that's very simple. It goes from line to line and all the components in, in a circuit can be, will be aligned so you can understand exactly, oh, this is a limit switch and it's probably not working because I'm not getting this action. You, you look at the valve that you will see necessary for it to be activated and it's not activating. You check it. You you, probe, you test your, your limit switch and things like those. So that is troubleshooting techniques with ladder diagram. Be capable, of course, of designing your own circuits. I'm not talking elaborate things, but be able to develop some simple circuits that can solve some of your problems. Uh, know and utilize all the right tools and materials that you need to use in your profession. Be up to date in technologies, techniques and methods. Have the skills, this is so important, have the skills to, to ask people about symptoms, about noises, to verify temperatures, vibrations, etc. so that we go to the analysis of the root cause of something that happened in the equipment. Be in continuous preparation. The most prepared will be the champions, remember that. So detect any abnormalities in the function that of your equipment, can be motors, relays, PLCs, uh, and many other components. Now, it is critical that we understand that in this culture of uh, world class, it is required that we become multi-skilled. What does that mean? Well, that means that you as an electrician uh, need to have some uh, knowledge, even if not very in-depth for now, but you need to start developing some knowledge about uh, the job of the mechanics, the pipe fitters, the welders, all the people who conform your team in maintenance can share with you some stuff, some knowledge, and you share yours, and all of a sudden we are sharing those, those uh, pieces of information 
and we become multi-skilled. Because when we become multi-skilled, of course we are more valuable. And that's something that every person should be able to enjoy, being more valuable. A multi-skilled technician is, is capable of solving some problems in the plant that in the past they would have had to wait, oh, I need to call a mechanic because this, this uh, nut or bolt seems to be loose. But I, I don't have the knowledge and I don't have the wrench to do that. Wrong, wrong. We need to become more knowledgeable in every trade. And, of course, not always we will be able to substitute for the mechanic. That's not the idea. The idea is that we collaborate and that we do the simple things that we can do, because we can, okay? So this is the, the idea. I know that in some unionized environments, this can be a little tricky, but uh, believe me, I have worked with many companies that have unions in their, in their workforce, and uh, they all have understood how important it is for the company to survive. And how important is that we, as technicians in maintenance, collaborate so that the company can be more productive. Because if no productivity, no work, no union. Okay? So we'll see that very soon. Now, it is also critical the contribution that electricians can provide to the implementation of autonomous maintenance. Autonomous maintenance requires more communication between your customers and you. Who are your customers? All the operators, uh, the supervisors or leaders in uh, production, all those people are your customers. You want those people to be with you. You want those people to join you, to help you, and to give you some information sometimes, right? So ask them and learn from their knowledge, from their observations, from, uh, hey, did you hear a noise? Or do you think this uh, noise is normal? Or this, is this vibration what uh, you always have in your machine? Have you switched uh, materials? Have you had some problem? Did you, did you see if there was some spill of water here? Things like those, you know. <laughs> so try to teach them Every time that you are there, try to teach the people, the operators, your customers, teach them something about all the good things that you know, okay? Try to teach them something. Use every opportunity trying to teach them something. Ask for their help when it is possible. Uh, try to help them understand why you are doing things. What is that you're working? Isn't it true when you're talking with your doctor, uh, it is very favorable if your doctor shares with you what he is planning to do, especially if you're gonna have some surgery. They say, okay, you know, you know we're gonna have this surgery and we're gonna connect this pipe to this other and things like those. And, but that's exactly the same thing here. You, you're sharing with your customers, with the production people, what you're going to do or what you are doing, and they will feel more at ease, and they will be learning something that is useful for everyone. In our module number 11, we will be uh, answering more of your questions. I really am very thankful to all of you who have been sharing some of your knowledge, some of your doubts, some of your questions, because that is how we want to be of help to everybody. I thank you very, very much. Keep sending your emails, please. That helps us a lot. We want to be of service to the world-class maintenance community, and this is the purpose of all these videos. Make sure that you keep sending your emails. Right here, you're gonna see the address in a moment. Thank you.